Twitter's rival, Threads, is officially in business. Facebook and Instagram's parent company, Meta, launching that app overnight. Ben Lichtenwalner, IT expert and founder of Radiant Forest, joining us now in studio to talk about this. What do we have near 45 million signups already on this? That's a successful first day launch. By any measure, I would say. This Absolutely. Is, this is, they're shaping this up as being, this is the potential, potential maybe a, a threat to uh, Twitter, uh, could be a deadly threat to Twitter. Yeah, absolutely. It's it, I think the big difference between you know you've heard of like Mastodon or Blue Sky, those are the ones that were trying to compete with Twitter, but they were limiting the number of users who could sign on and it was technically a little bit more challenging. This one is really simple to log on to. If you already have a Facebook or Instagram account, it just moves over and your network is a lot easier to bring with you. I was going to say, that uh, the setup process and, and signing on, it's pretty straightforward. And like you said, there's a built-in advantage because this is run by Facebook and Instagram. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's the big difference that a lot of users are seeing and why you got 44 million in, in less than 24 hours. It's just there's no limitations and people are quickly signing up. It's designed to be just like Twitter, I guess. Is that what makes it dangerous? And in fact, the late news is uh, Elon Musk is already threatening Mark Zuckerberg over this app. Yeah, it's going to be entertaining to watch, that's for sure. And for users, I think it, it absolutely, it's set up to be just like Twitter. So if you're already familiar with Twitter, it's going to be an easy transition for you. Uh, the text strings are limited to 500 characters in a very similar format. Media posts per post is like 10 per format. It's because it's designed to be so similar to Twitter, there's a large number of people who've been unhappy with Twitter, like that Pew Research study recently said 25% of users were looking to leave Twitter. Yeah. And I think that's where you're going to see a lot of the transition come from. Still, though, there's some controversy with this new platform because I guess the amount of personal information that it's mining is pretty extensive. Talk yes, about that drawback. Absolutely. Well, if you're already using Facebook or Instagram, you know, there was sort of that default message of, well, it's, it's going to get the same data. But the reality is if you look in the App Store when you sign up, it says that it's asking for a lot more or tracking a lot more information, including some health information, some health data. So I think that uh, Meta has some explaining to do, basically, as to why are they saying they're capturing all this data if it's really really just the same as what they've been capturing all along. Still, though, it seems like it's primed for success. I just saw some of the big, bold names that are signing on, I mean, all the uh, celebrities that are coming on, and some politicians now, too, uh, dipping their feet into the water here. Yeah, and I understand Meta's actively recruiting some of those big, some of those big celebrities and possibly politicians. So they, they're not just playing the technology game. They're definitely at it from the uh, political and social aspect of it as well. All right, Ben Lichtenwalder, IT exec, breaking down threads, the new app out there, the rival to Twitter.